we are going to be making some Indian corn, which is dried corn on the cob that has different colors. The kernels aren't all yellow. They have a lot of different warm colors like reds and oranges um, that also go on the surface. I'm starting with one of each, but I might need more strips for later. There will be strips in the middle of your table to grab more of when you need them. I'm going to cut a little bit at a time and then I'm going to glue. I'm going to pick, I'll start with one strip of paper. I want to make squares. So if I'm making squares, should I cut right here? Is that a square? No. What about this? Is this a square? No. Too big. What about here? Does this look like a square? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I will just cut straight off. Straight off again. I am just making squares. What about this? Is this too big? Nope, it's too small. What about this one? No. Now I have a bunch of different colors. Should I just glue them all down on top like this? No, that doesn't look very nice. Corn on the cob actually grows more in rows. We're gonna make our rows going across because it'll be a little easier to keep track of. I want to make a pattern. I have three colors. So I think my pattern's going to be red, yellow, orange. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern. So my next color is going to be red. And my next color is going to be yellow. Oh, I'm out of space. So I'm going to stop there for now and I'm going to put glue on my row of corn. Now to make things easier, I'm going to scooch these guys up and put a row of glue straight across. I might even do it a few times so that there's definitely enough glue. And then I'm going to stick my kernels on top. pushing down with my finger so I know they're staying. Now if I keep going with the pattern and I stopped with yellow, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, what's going to be on this row? Hmm. Orange, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, red. Now I'm out of space again. Um, I'm going to move my squares down, make another line. Did I turn my glue up a lot like this? No, I only did it a little bit. Make my glue line across and put my pattern on push them down. It's okay if you go outside the lines a little bit. Alright, so next, let's see. Red, yellow, orange. Red, yellow, orange. Red, yellow, orange. Red. Orange? No. Yellow. Red, yellow, orange. Red, yellow, orange. Now what do I do? Now I glue. Now 
I'm running out of space to put my next square, so I might have to make this one come down here. My corn is going to get smaller when I get lower. I might be able to fit it. But my next row, I probably will only get four colors. can't fit anymore, so I've got to stop there. Am I putting my glue down first, or am I laying my colors down first? I'm laying my colors down first. Then I'm moving them and adding the glue. I could only fit three on this one. Oh no, I'm out of shapes. I almost made it all the way down. What do I need next in my pattern? Red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange. I'm going to take a strip and just cut one more orange. Mm, I could probably fit a red. Let's see if I can borrow a little bit of red. Mm, I don't think it will fit, so I'm going to move these over and put my red at the bottom. And I think I'll be done. So I have three more. I'm going to move them down and just add them all at the same time. When I'm finished, I will turn my glue stick down, put the cap on, put my glue back in the glue bin, 